I chose Higher Art and Design because I really enjoyed the Nat 5 course and I wanted to keep my options open when going into fifth year. I'm wanting to go to uni to study animation and then make that into a career. Um, they'd prefer if you had an A or a B in Nat 5 Art, but sometimes you can be accepted with a C or a D as well. Also, in sixth year, a lot of people choose to crash the hire. I would say the workload from Nat 5 to hire can be quite big, but there's a lot of work in Nat 5 as well as the hire. You just have to go in some lunch times and after school. In higher art and design, there's two main activities. One is an expressive activity and one is a design activity. For the expressive one, you do still lifes and paint and draw stuff like that. And you look at two artists and you talk about their work as well. And in design, you can do hat making, sometimes make shoes and sometimes you do textiles. And you also look at two designers in that activity as well. You have a final exam where you talk about your artists and designers and you talk about two pieces from each artist and each designer. In higher, I especially enjoyed looking at Ralph Goings because his work is very detailed and very realistic and I wanted to try and portray that in my work as well. I also really liked making the hat because the final product that you get from it is always really fun to make. There's a lot of work that goes into higher art and design with the units and the folio that you submit at the end of the year. So you just have to put a lot of time in and a lot of effort in. You get homework about your artists, maybe research into their background or if there's classwork that you haven't finished. But for making the hats or textiles or whatever, you just need to put in the time outside of school or at lunch times and after schools. You do need to um, be quite self-disciplined and make sure you're pushing yourself to actually go up to art and do your work, basically, and not wasting your time when you do come up. You need to be creative and imaginative to a certain extent when you're trying to come up with ideas for your, for your design topic and different layouts for your still lifes. You also have to have quite a good work ethic and make sure you can manage your time well as well. I've definitely got better at time management since of the, the large workload that comes with it and I'm much better at developing my ideas and deciding on ideas to move forward with. You should pick higher art and design because even though it might have a really big workload it's a lot of fun to do and you get a lot out of it and you can really develop your creative skills. Um, there are a lot of careers associated with higher art and design which could be architecture or other construction and uh, building jobs. You could also use it in performing arts and media. You can use it in animation and visual effects, TV and film, marketing and advertising. Um, you could use it if you're wanting to go into hairdressing or beauty and makeup and stuff like that. Um, you can also use it in hospitality and catering and tourism and marketing and advertising. So there's tons and tons of things that you could use with higher art and design.